everybody. It's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making another wholesale batch. I'm still doing a seep water discount, but this fragrance doesn't, it plays nice, so it should be okay. I'm doing um, Gold Rush. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that. I might call it Gold Dust. Um, I'm not sure, but I put a bunch of Gold Dust Mica in the main batter, and then I'm going to um, add white and gold swirls and just see how it goes. I'm using a different stick blender today. This one is more powerful. Um, I'm hoping that's going to help me as I am blending this up. I may have to switch to my other stick blender with, when I do colors, but we'll see. Got all of that blended together. Now I'm going to separate off my colors. So I have a dark gold and a light gold. And I discovered I don't like that stick blender. <laughs> it's way too powerful. And it just kind of wants to sh suck down on the, to the bottom. And um, it doesn't really mix it up well. So, and then the rest of this. is going to be white. And I hope I saved enough or made enough. I might have to make some more. all blended and my molds ready to go and I realized as I was stirring I forgot to make a, a mica to do a mica drizzle make some mica for a drizzle so I'll do that here in a minute and I might have more gold than I want but that's okay This one smells really good. I wasn't sure I was going to like this one, but I really do. Oops. It's going to have more gold than I originally planned, but that's okay. I'm not going to save any for the top. I 
kind of reminds me of caramel. I'm doing something different with my molds today. I didn't tape them down like I normally do because uh, a lot of times, no matter how hard I try to get the, um, the paper to be crisp in the corners, I still end up with um, rounded edges. So I was hoping if I didn't tape the paper down that maybe that would help force the, the corners to uh, be flat. Okay, I'm going to smack these down. I'd like to cover the whole top with white. I don't know that I have enough. So I'm just going to get as close as I can and see what I get and not worry about it. Still adjusting to making soap, um, you know, this amount of soap at once. I overestimated my gold, but that's okay. I wasn't real concerned about it. I wanted it to be mostly white. Oh, and I was gonna swirl this. I didn't do that. I totally forgot. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. So I mixed up some gold mica for the top, more than I needed, but that's okay. I guess that's the theme, more, my, more gold than planned. I can save this for another batch. I'll have to look and see. I don't know if I have any gold glitter. Because that would be pretty on here. Do you have pretty glitter? I do have pretty glitter. I just don't know if I have any gold. Cool. I don't have any gold glitter, but I do have some eco iridescent. Glitter, so I'll put a little bit about that on. Okay, so there's Gold Rush. Don't go anywhere, I'll have the cutting next. Here is Gold Rush out of the mold. In the inside. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty shimmery. So part of this will be available online. Pretty. 
and part of it will be for wholesale. Most of it will be for wholesale. This smells really good. It smells better than I expected it to. There's a little bit of a shadow in here. I played with the lights and tried to get it adjusted, but um, it's late in the evening. I just haven't had any time during the day to get these cut. And I'm just going to cut one loaf. I have one more I need to do tonight. hand out of the shadow there. I'm having to bend down to see the viewfinder. But I like this one. I think I'm going to have to snag a bar for myself or make another batch. Okay, but there is Gold Rush. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.